So we are uh, author space architects. So uh, we are presenting today about space architectural design. Firstly, uh, in the opening will be for the Aje. She will continue. The field is yours. Aje. Um, hi. Um, so this is the global exploration roadmap, which uh, the um, which is uh, presented by fourteen different uh, agencies coming together, and uh, clearly we are going to Mars. <laughs> Uh, therefore, we um, we we will uh, try to present our concept of uh, habitat there. It, it, and uh, so before getting there, uh, what are the uh, considerations while uh, putting a human being to other space? Uh, uh, the space is a very very extreme environment and. Uh, it shares all the characteristics of extreme environment as such, uh, hardship of reach, autonomy, isolation, and confinement. If you can pass uh, while I'm talking, by the way. Uh, lack of external stimuli, social monotony, lack of resources, hardship of evacuation in ca case of emergency. And in Mars, um, in Mars, uh, we see all those uh, things, not, not all those things, actually. We have uh, some natural life cycles and we have gravity there one third of the earth, but uh, the hardship of evacuation and uh, the uh, getting their part uh, and carrying a mass with us is uh, really problematic for Mars. And uh, to, to uh, make, a, make human beings uh, there being uh, there uh, to, to provide them well-being, uh, we first should uh, look at uh, look at the levels of uh, space habitation as uh, Lockhart, as Lockhart presented. Uh, the first one is survival. Uh, in survival phase, uh, we only need a protection, uh, a case uh, to let humans breathe and just live. Uh, these, uh, uh, these are the uh, first missions uh, we have made to space and uh, later on we get to performance. And uh, at that point, we need uh, the human being in there to, uh, to be able to do some tasks. Therefore, uh, he or she should have some uh, comforts. And uh, that, that means that uh, the next missions uh, we have made, but also uh, some other uh, missions such as uh, like cargo delivery or something like uh, we just go and come back. It's just a trip. Anyway. And uh, from there, we get to the habitation phase, uh, habitation level. And uh, at that part, we need all aspects of life as, uh, as people are gonna live there. Um, and in adaptation level, this is uh, for much longer time span. And in that time span, it's being discussed to change the planets uh, for humans or uh, ch change the human for the planet. So it it's, uh, it's can be seen as a, a really extreme subject, but uh, all those things are being discussed in, in, in a longer time span. So what do we, how do we uh, habit uh, a human in Mars? How, how do we design uh, a habitat? Are we, what, uh, we can continue. Uh, we, try to, we try to put some bullet points for us to be, um, both careful of and both to provide uh, for humans there. And um, among, I, I mean, there is much more, of course, but uh, among those uh, things, we first uh, are focused on, uh, next slide. We first focused on those points and uh, in our design, we'll, we'll be talking about those valid points uh, in our design uh, today. So uh, well, how, how should we uh, look at the environment of Mar how How is the environmental conditions there? The next slide. Um, so here we see a table of uh, some different space environments again. And uh, the, the darker the uh, part is, uh, the more extreme uh, the conditions are there. 
So uh, Mars surface is not the uh, most hostile place for human beings. We have some uh, issues there, uh, mostly about uh, getting there again and communication delay and also uh, 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 not uh, yet experienced the lamina uh, of uh, losing visual con connection to Earth. And um, our engineer will uh, talk about some of the radiation concerns uh, before uh, uh, passing to this, uh, to our design. Hi, my name is Sardar. I'm aerospace engineer student at uh, Turkey uh, from UTA University. Uh, I want to talk about some uh, effects about radiation. We have some visual owner in the motion dynamics uh, that we need to take. One of them is the radiation factor. The Martian surface conditions more radiation than the Earth's up to the environment. The radiation level is 30 new Sherbert uh, Hardy when the solar is at minimum level. When the solar is at its maximum amount, it can increase to two times this value. If people living in the Martian environment spend an average of three hours outside, the habitats every three days, they add up to an average of 11 millisorbert of radiation increase per year. The surface of Mars is covered with soil that can be isolated as from this radiation effort, effect. And a five meter soil layer can create a production structure that will be reduced to amount of radiation to the same level as the Earth. Estimates dozens for a six month stay on the International Space Station are uh, one that zero beyond one that five frames. This value, this values increase up to uh, two that five time when the Martian environment is considered. Radiation levels typical range from about one that five to uh, three that five millisieverts per year, but can be more than fifty millisieverts a year. In our architect design, we focused on the importance of the daylight for human. In this process, in order to provide radiation production protection, we searched for a material that will allow daylight to pass through in our building and also provide active radiation protection. At this point, lead glass and alone materials appear. Uh, we needed uh, materials. Uh, that are that can provide some kind of radiation protection, surely. And if we can move to the design altogether, and um, therefore we, as we uh, wanted to have lights, but we needed uh, to protect uh, to be protected from uh, the radiation. Uh, we needed to search for methods, uh, search for materials and building methods uh, to let us do. And uh, we needed, uh, we wanted to provide uh, humans uh, their natural circadian rhythms and uh, provide them some external stimuli, as there is, there wouldn't be any external stimuli if we just put them on a uh, closed box uh, without, with a, uh, with, with some, with same temperature and uh, no wind all day. That, that those kind of things would uh, not psychologically good for humans. And uh, to provide those kind kind of stimuli, we uh, try to use the natural light cycle of Mars because it's so similar to Earth's. And uh, we also try to have different environments within the habitat to provide some various temperatures and light conditions, etc. And uh, to for radiation protection and to have a breathable uh, and pressurized volume, uh, we try to use uh, we we have used this uh, hybrid shell system uh, with regolith on the top and, uh, and inner translucent material, which we'll be presenting uh, soon. And uh, we we use that uh, hybrid system because of uh, the, the, we wanted to use in-situ materials. So for the massive part of radiation protection, we wanted to use the uh, Martian soil, Martian regolith. But as it's uh, both toxic and wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be enough sufficient to, uh, to uh, have a bondage, um, we also uh, ha have another material uh, that we could expand uh, to fit in the uh, printed shell. 
which is autonomously constructed before humans get there. Okay, then I will continue with the, our design. Uh, we had a design, so we processed on it, on it, where we put a new ideas, a lot of new ideas on it, and I will talk about this and talk about uh, how we progressed on it. Uh, we we worked on some biomimicry, and one of it is uh, was the uh, motif of the spherical uh, Fibonacci lattice. Uh, as uh, combine com com combine it to the uh, honeycomb shape. As we combined these two, one part from here and one part from here, we come up to this shape and worked on this shape and reached out to the uh, perfect uh, sphere. And we cut out it to make a better uh, dome shape. But this dome shape, uh, uh, we use for um, uh, inflatable uh, structure. So we will have a different construction and uh, we will use inflatable structure in it for having a flexible movement all around the Mars when we have any research and work investigation in any place of it. So in this project, we have intention of a flexible neighboring system. Uh, as we have neighboring system on the Earth, we are uh, we wanted to move this system to the Mars. Uh, we have a large area, and in, in inside of it, we can have more than one habitats. So every place will be among two another person that can make a neighborhood system. So it can be extendable in different shapes. This inflatable system will be double inflatable system. So in the middle, we will pressurize uh, and pressure air can cover uh, and uh, protect human from the radiation. And uh, also there will be uh, some uh, system that can uh, transfer the oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide of the outside to inside as oxygen. And we have this uh, concept of the dimensions. At the top, we have the higher uh, matter because uh, the um, horizontal uh, rays of the sun are more harmful, so we can have more air pressurized here, so will be protected from uh, outside. So the bottom part will be uh, narrow. Uh, these are concept of how we can uh, extend in the neighboring. We can extend in different shapes. Uh, as a new idea, we have put on our uh, project is the exterior shell. As I told you that we have inflatable uh, interior material, it's double, but in the exterior we will use as uh, a jet hold. Uh, we will have 3D printing uh, shells. We have this 3D printing shells inspired from the her hermit crops. As hermit crops can have different a lot of different shapes uh, and this uh, animal will take shape according to the its exterior shell. So our project uh, is ex uh, exactly to uh, come up to this idea from this concept, this bi and second biomimicry, um, pardon, third bi biomimicry. Uh, as the interior, uh, we have some sketches on new uh, how extend that we can use for exterior 3d printing shells there are there can be a lot of different types according to the uh, need of the peop people who will move to mars according to the number and population or according to the place and uh, the topography of the mars we can have different shapes of exterior shell these are one of the shell that we worked on. There are three components here, as you see. Uh, this can be designed for a large uh, topography area. And as you see, in a, at, at the exterior, there is a 3D printing shell. In the middle, there will be like a water tank that will be transparent, as Sardar told us that alone material can be used and it will be transparent and taking the 
horizontal rays in the safe, safest way and and also uh, as you see in the third bar there are habitats in different corners we have inspired uh, from the turkish uh, turkish hammams uh, as from the history until now this shape has been used so uh, as you see the uh, these are the holes so if we do like a 3d printing at the mars with the regolith we can have some small holes with uh, the material of alone to have the lights inside. Uh, so these are the uh, some inspiration from the old historical buildings. We have thought how to make it for our habitat. We can open some parts from here or here. And uh, as you see, this inflatable mater material can be placed uh, under a shelf. This is this black one is the or three printed exterior shell with the opening of the uh, glasses as inspired from the Turkish hammams. This green material uh, is alone. It's uh, aluminum nitrate material, and instead can be like a green uh, algae um, material. As algae materials is also uh, converting carbon dioxide to oxygen and also making inside hot uh, and prevent inside from the radiation of uh, outside we have these three important in speciality of this thing we fill the old glasses with this material and when we fill it we ha can have a uh, safest uh, light and as you can see in the bottom part there are uh, like um, the vertical lights can be safer and the horizontal one can be more uh, dangerous so we can have smaller windows and uh, top part the inside we have like greenery area because we have concept of neighboring the neighboring area we have uh, habitats in the gardens so every one can grow up their plants and walk inside like um, we didn't want to have a um, have a lifestyle on the Mars when we want to go to our neighbor as wearing our uh, suit, uh, space suit. So it's very boring thing. So we make a larger dome and small domes inside as for habitats. So human can walk to neighbor without a space suit and grow plants like a home on the Earth. These are some other uh, be, uh, views and this um so this is end of our presentation thank you this is our contact you can contact us on our email on uh, social medias thank you